Hi everybody, it's Dave Berman from Daily Laughers, May 24th, 2016. It's day 145, and just like every other day this year, here's a video to teach you new ways to choose to laugh intentionally. Laughing on purpose makes us feel great and brings us all sorts of health benefits. We've got the laughing man himself, Merv Neal, here in, was it Melbourne, Australia? Am I remembering correctly? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. So we've had Merv on once before telling his incredible health recovery story, and he's working on producing uh, uh, the 11th annual Laughter Conference, and he's going to share some more details about that, as well as introduce some brand new exercises today. Merv, thanks for coming back on. Thanks. Thank you very much for the um, invitation and allowing me to come back on. It's a privilege. Well, um, I guess the feeling is mutual. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel honored. I feel honored to speak to and laugh with somebody of your uh, experience and skill. And, and I know that you train a lot of people and you work with people in ways that I aspire to. So uh, I'm, I'm really honored and thrilled to have you back on for another video. And I'm ex I'm especially excited to uh, be invited to appear at your conference and to get a preview of some of your new exercises that you've made up. Yeah, Dave, one of the things that is just going crazy at the moment is this thing called resilience. Um, I've been invited to several organisations and they've said, yeah, the laughter's good, but how does it make us more resilient? So I went to um, the good old Google and found a Connor Davidson resilience scale. And what I found was fascinating, and they had 10 major things about what makes a resilient person. And I don't want to take up too much time, but I just want to identify three of the things that they said makes a more resilient person. And the number one thing that they measure is being able to see the humorous side of things. <laughs> I go, this is us. This is us. So what laugh could possibly have people see the humorous side of things, and that's one that's just not funny. So, Dave, can you join me in these three laughs? Do you mind? Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, so, this is not funny. So, put your finger up. Put your finger up. Turn it around. Now, there's nothing funny about this yet, but do this. <laughs> so, so, so I say to people, if you can see the funny side of a finger and then actually have fun with laughing at yourself, that's what a sense of humour is all about. And they really love that concept because people always say, I can't see something funny in this. And I said, well, can you see something funny in this? Because if you can see something funny in that, you can see something funny in everything. Um, the other one, which was fascinating, um, one of the other questions, Dave, was accepting mistakes. Now, we all make mistakes regularly, especially in business. I try to mm. only make them once and never make it again, but we all make mistakes. So this is the laugh that I created for when you make mistakes. So once again, it involves a hand and bring it down behind you. And Dave, you've just made a mistake on daily laughters and you just go like this. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> other hand, other hand. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's a big mistake, Dave. Big mistake this oh. time. Ah! <laughs> 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 so, so once again it's not if you make a mistake it's when you make a mistake just turn your hand around and just laugh because there's nothing else you can do about it and the final one says that a resilient person is strong all right so once again we do a strength-based um exercise and this may not be new to people but it's about bringing the strength in and bringing it into your body turning it around and lifting it right up above you in the power pose and going yeah. <laughs> 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 and that's just proof that you and I need to do some work on the biceps. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think the video might have showed up some things there. <laughs> so the point, the point that I'm making is our, our lives need to be more resilient. And if we can create laughs that actually um, demonstrate that resilience, I think that's what laughter and laughter yoga is all about. So those are three so, out of ten categories yep. in this scale. What's the name of the scale again for anybody who might want to research it on their own? It's the Connor, C-O-N-N-O-R hyphen Davidson, D-A-V-I-D-S-O-N. I highly recommend it because it gives some sort of context around how can we measure resilience and what are the questions that we ask. And we can then determine, well, if you are a strong person, what does that look like? It's like this and it's like this <laughs> and a weak person is like this. So people carry their bodies like this. A, a, a person who is afraid of making mistakes, goes, oh, my God, oh, I've made a mistake, oh, dear, and they close down. Another person will go, ah, oh, <laughs> and they just brush it off because they go, i made a mistake, but it's gone. So all of these laughs are significant in a body fashion to change our motions, which, as you know, creates emotions. Right, yeah. So uh, at the conference, which is uh, the third week of October, you are gonna be yes. doing, you're going to be doing a session about resilience? Um, we've got a, a session with lots of amazing people, and you are, of course, one of them. And Dave, I've done the maths. You are doing your 295th daily laugh at our conference, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and, and you are resilient in being able to do it um, every day up until then, so we're looking forward to that. We have a, an amazing group of people. I recommend they go to the Laughter Wellness website. We'll post it on the Daily Laughters things. There's people in there who are so resilient and have bounced back from all sorts of situations and become a stronger person because of it. So, um, yeah, really looking forward to the conferences and especially to having you involved. Well, I, I'm honored to be invited uh, at this time, just for viewers who may be curious. It most likely will be through some kind of streaming media like Skype, but you never know. Perhaps I will find my way to Australia. Uh, the details for getting yourself a ticket to the conference will be in the description for this video and you can uh, check in with Merv about his various other laughter business and laughter trainings and laughter clubs uh, through through the same site or another site? Uh, another site, just go to the MervNeal.com website, tells you a little bit about myself. Okay, so we'll post both of those links. Uh, let's see, uh, anything else for today? Is that it for today? Oh. But the last thing, Dave, and maybe we'll sign off on this, um, one of the other questions is that they are able to stay focused. So mm. they have the ability to get rid of all the rubbish from their heads and be able to maintain a focus and achieve goals. So just grab your, your laughter string, Dave, for us. Yes. Great. And pull it nice and tight. It must be tight. And just feed it in through your ear there and poke it in through the ear and out the other. And just get rid of all that garbage that's in our heads, eh? <laughs> <laughs> the old mental floss. <laughs> this one? Oh, this, ah. <laughs> all right Merv thanks everybody tune in for another Daily Laughers video tomorrow it'll be day 146 subscribe on YouTube and join us in the Daily Laughers channel on YouTube thanks again Merv bye bye <laughs> thank you Dave enjoy